Hello and welcome back to Kendall Farm. So today we are going to be harvesting this field here. Uh, it's finally come ripe. Uh, it is uh, well we're mid September now. We're September the eighteenth, and uh, and yeah, it's it's taken a while. This has been this has been a slow growing crop. This, but it's done. So we are now going to harvest this with our combine. We've got our, uh, our John Deere over there. So, uh, yeah, let's get this hooked up and, uh, and get moving. Start up the combine. There we go. Back it off. There we are. Right. Okay, let's start up this and move it out of the way. Whoa, don't want to go backwards. There we go. Right, this should pulling this over here should put it out of the way. There we go. I'll turn the engine off as well. Right, and uh, let's get moving. So we're going to be turning this into bales as well, which is good and very, very useful to us. <laughs> Yeah, it's more for the bales that we do this than for the uh, for the actual grains. But uh, yeah, it's always good to have a good yield off the grains as well. Well, the more grains we get, the more um, aren't we moving forward? Okay, we got stuck on something, I think. Very difficult to see. Yeah, I think we have a tree behind us. I'll well, be careful of that. Don't want to damage the combine at all. There we go. So I, hope, I don't think this field is going to take very long. It's nowhere near as big as our other field. Now we are. Before I go any further, I want to double check that we are actually putting out some straw. We are good. Here we go again. Edges of this field are quite close. There we are. We got it. How are we doing? For, uh, we're doing all right. As far as space in the tank goes, I don't think I don't think we'll get um, more than about a trailer full off here. To be honest, there we are. Got it. All right, we're beginning to show in the window. That's good. But it's going, yeah. It's going to be at least a couple of rounds of the field, I think, before we, uh, before we actually need to empty. And there we are. Right. Head back to the front. Oh, getting caught in that tree a little bit. There we are. 
that just squares things off a little bit. Hopefully. We have a better time of turning this corner now. Yeah, there we go. jump out and give the combine a quick check over. Seems to be all good. Ah, so what have we got to do on the farm? Well, we've, we've given our animals a good, uh, or our cows are well fed. I am going to go and have to have a look at the sheep today, I think. And possibly uh, do something with them next time. They're, uh, I don't wish to neglect them and I want to make sure that we are, uh, that they're all good. And we should have a bit of wool now to, uh, to possibly sell. Although, normally I like to sell wool on the farm when uh, the local merchant has a great demand uh, which has been a little while so uh, we'll see but we might, may want to, to move some of the uh, wool anyway get it into a bit better storage there we go ah we're coming up the window now Going well. Ah, there we are. So I think we'll do one more headland uh, before we cut into the crop. This will go this will then give us enough space to turn around. Uh, oh, we are above the I think I might go get the tractor. We're pretty full. Well we're above the window. myself a little bit. Okay, I'll turn that off. Back 
into here. There we go. And away we go. We are going to have to move that tractor in a bit. We haven't got enough uh, space to turn around at the ends with that there. We're going to work, work our way towards it anyway, so we should be alright. Okay. So that's, that's quite a decent uh, yield we're getting off here, I think. Get a uh, to get a tank of already. Doing the headlands is quite good. We seem to be doing all right. We will cut into the field next. Now, I might am toying with the idea of uh, planting crops next year. That will do, uh, or for next year, uh, that are profit driven. So maybe um, some soybeans or uh, or some sunflowers or something like that. Something that's a little bit different. Um, we are, well, we are going to look at something in the next. Uh, week or so. We're looking at another farm that we might be taking over. Uh, so we'll see how we go. We may do some of that on there. Maybe. Because that, uh, that I think is going to be far less. Um, well, we're going to have less animals. We are looking at a farm that is uh, more arable. Because obviously we, we already have our sheep and our uh, cows here. And our chickens, of course. Uh, which we don't visit very often. But, uh, yeah. They do produce uh, eggs for us. space still in the tank. Considering next time I'm probably going to have to move the tractor when we get to the end of this row. moved now. Uh, I know we might be alright actually. Because we're coming out at this point. Yeah, we're clear. It's not that much in the way. Gonna leave a thin strip there. Never mind. I'll come grab that in a moment. But I'd rather leave a thin strip than sort of a messy edge or anything like that. That we then had to zigzag to pick up. Right, we're 
still good for space. So we'll cut through into this. This is where we have to move the tractor. So I'll just put that in the middle here, then it will definitely be out of the way. We need this manoeuvring space. Without, <clears throat> without this, we're never going to get turned around. <clears throat> there we go. I think we left a little bit. Yeah. That's what I was trying to avoid on the other end. <laughs> Zigzagging back and forth a little bit. Never mind. And I think we're going to have a similar issue here. We didn't quite go far enough over one way or the other. Yeah. We're going to have a small section left here as well. Oh, that annoys me. A lot. Only because it's it's not such a pain when uh, harvesting. It is when I come to bale this. It means I'm going to have three very uh, thin rows. Or yo low yield rows of, uh, of straw. There we are. one. How did I miss that bit? There we go. And we just have this row here and then what to do is uh, before I leave you uh, we'll empty into the tractor and we'll go and um, we'll go and tip that and then we're all done. So, uh, once that's emptied, we'll put the auger in. And, uh, yeah, actually, we might we might do the process of putting everything away. Because I don't think I've done that previously on camera. Oh, I'm going to turn the combine off. There we go. Right, let's take the tractor. And we'll go and tip this. Bring the landy over and get the uh, the header loaded onto 
the head of trailer. So I'll have to run back for that. There we go. And out. it into the grain store now I need to back it in far enough so I don't catch the lip on the front which I've done before causes me all sorts of pain there we go out through the grain door. There we go. Right. Uh, I'm just going to reverse this up a little bit because what I want to do is, uh, is give this a clean. So we'll clean it as we pull it back out. First, we're going to run back to the field. through this grass field and, uh, and get the landy lined up Maybe around this way Perfect. Done. I'll just make sure that we've clamped it on properly. Yeah. There we go. Good. Right, we'll take the combine back. Now well, this needs. We're going to put this away for the winter now, so this needs a good hose down. get this near our pressure washer and give this a good wash. Keep the condition of this as best as possible. Don't use it a lot, so. There we go. 
Right, so now we need to reverse this back into the barn. to that door. Let's just pull it forward a little bit. There we go. Right. We need a quick, quick run back to the field and grab the landing out. And, uh, and give our header a hose down as well. Get it cleaned up. Oh, Landy's going to need a clean after this as well. Whoa. Through the hedge. There we go. Right, so let's get this hose down. Even the header trailer needs cleaning up. That's got really grimy. Go. Looking much better. Much cleaner. There we are. Right. So uh, that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed this visit to Kendall Farm. Uh, please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm along with much much more please subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time goodbye